guys, it's Ashley, one half of the Glam Girl Guide. And today, as you can tell by the title of the video, we are going to be doing a nursery tour slash organization hacks, tips, whatever you want to call it. Um, I got a lot of my ideas from watching other people's YouTube videos and I really want to make sure that the nursery was cute, of course, for my baby girl and functional. So uh, what I mean by that is that whenever I come in here, my husband, my mom, whoever's taking care of the baby, they're able to get in, do what they need to do and get out and it be easy and everything just flows. I didn't want anything to be junky or disorganized because that gives me anxiety. So my main thing for this nursery was for it to be functional and cute. So anyways, um, I'm going to link everything in the, in the description box below of where I got it from. Um, hopefully I find everything because uh, some of these things were gifts that wasn't on my registry. So I will do my best to link it in the description box below. But if you have any questions, please leave us a comment. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, here is the nursery tour. Bye guys. So as you enter the room, you see her name sign here, which was purchased by her godmother, Glam Girl Nay. I love it so much because it matches the color scheme of her room and it's just so cute. So as you fully enter the room, I want to show you guys my absolute favorite, favorite feature of this room, which is right here, y'all, this wall. This is actually a pill and stick wallpaper from Wayfair. And she has a neon name sign that we purchased from Etsy. I'll insert a clip of what it looks like at I night. Promise, this is a nighttime view of my baby's name sign right above her bed. This is what it looks like. And then you can press a button and I can find the button, y'all. Hold on. Here we go. It can blink that and off so we just keep it like that and that is her name sign during the daytime or like it looks like that and that's it and then we have her crib, which is the brand Baby Leto. My mother-in-law purchased it. You can get it anywhere, but we got ours off of Amazon. They also sell it at Bye Bye Baby. And the pillows inside are also from Amazon. The big pink one is also, it's, it's just a, um, what do you call it? A pillowcase that I had my uh, Euro pillow inserted into. And then we have this custom blanket that I had made ordered it off of Etsy. Again, I'll link everything below. Um, but I love this blanket because it's so soft and plush and girly. It has her name on it and also a swan because ballerinas and swans are the theme of her nursery. I wish I could cuddle up in this blanket, y'all. It feels so freaking soft. And then we also have a little rocking swan here from Amazon. I can't wait till she's old enough to rock on it. So cute. And I have a rug here that's purchased from Wayfair. I'm also going to put another rug on top of it to layer it. Her rocker is from Wayfair. The curtains are from Wayfair. The gold lamp is from Wayfair. Everything's from Wayfair. This little play gym is from Amazon. I love it so much. And the tree is from, you guessed it, Wayfair. I love that the green adds a little pop of color. Her little clothes hamper is from Pottery Barn Kids, and it is just so cute. This thing was a little expensive, though. And then her changing table matches her crib. It is Baby Leto. And here are some of my organization hacks here. I put little dividers up to help keep everything separated and organized. Um, so over here we have her diapers, we have wipes, and we have all of her soaps and lotions and some dusting powder that I don't think I'm going to use. Um, I've been using Desident and it's been working just fine. And I don't want to use too many products. I love Aveeno products and I think I'm going to stick to that on my baby's skin. But I did pick up some Shea Moisture products. I use it on myself. Um, but I don't know. I think 
with my baby being so delicate, I just want to stick to one brand. I have Johnson's and Johnson's have not used this yet. And I probably, probably won't. I don't know. We have her brush and her comb. This is a special brush and comb to prevent cradle cap. And then I have uh, this product, which was in a sample bag that I was sent from Bye Bye Baby. Her second drawer has um, a few things in it. We have gloves here that I got. Um, also some gripe water and tissues and nipple pads. I have some of everything in here. But what's really handy is this, guys. This is a gas passer. It's supposed to help the baby pass gas because, you know, babies are really gassy and it can hurt their little bellies. And then we have the nose frita here to help suck out boogers. And then this is really cool. It's a pacifier medicine doser to help give medicine to babies. You know, they spit everything out. And then we have toys here that she's not quite old enough to play with yet. But when she gets old enough, we're definitely going to break these out. I love how bright, vibrant the colors are because babies love vibrant colors. So I love these. Can't wait till she can play with them. And then here I have all her teethers and a whole bunch of pacifiers. I literally have like a hundred different pacifiers with a variety of nipples because I didn't know which one my baby would like. Um, she ended up liking the one from the hospital. But if we ever lose that, then we have these. This last drawer down here are just clothes that are too big for her right now. Um, so I just put them down here and stored them. And then we have our diaper genie here, which I love because I don't smell any poopy diapers. Her dresser is from Ikea, and she'll have this until she's a teenager. And look at my little black ballerina, guys. Black girl magic. Okay. I got that. Uh, I'm not sure where we found that at. We found that on a Google search. Her Owlette monitor here, which is a lifesaver, and she has a wipe warmer, and her books. Okay, you guys, so I'm definitely going to put up a bookshelf, but I want you guys to see her books. I was very intentional on the books that I chose um, for my daughter's room because I feel that representation matters. So if you notice, there are little black girls on the cover of every book because I want my daughter to see or uh, see herself represented. So I love these books and they definitely will be on display as soon as I can find a bookshelf that I like. So still in the process of doing that. Hey, little ballerina. Too cute. These frames are from Hobby Lobby. We frame those ourselves. Each drawer is organized and it has um, these little white bins that I got from Ikea. Um, in here are just her swaddling blankets. And then this next drawer has her zip up onesies and her bows and hats. And they're only the size three to six months and newborn in there. And then also in here we have her onesies so I didn't put all her sizes out because I didn't know if she'd be able to fit them. And then in here are the clothes that are too big for her. My baby is small, guys. She was five pounds when she was born. She's still wearing newborn size. And then this, I love this name sign. It was purchased by my husband. It was a gift. And it just has her name and what it means, which is graced by God. And look at this little cloud that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. It's so cute. I think it just is so dainty and cute. And I just want to pan the room one more time so you guys can take it all in. This is my favorite room to be in. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye guys.